Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So we got some news today. So the Washington football team announced that it has signed tight end Samus Reyes who played D1 hoops at Tulane and was going to be part of the International Pathway program before the Washington football team signed him to their roster. So we're, I'm going to be giving you guys some information about him and we're going to be you know talking about what his role would be on the Washington football team and how likely it is that he makes the team and one interesting fact is that he recently tested as the most athletic size adjusted tight end to ever enter the NFL and yes that includes Kyle Pitts so we'll get into those numbers and much much more so if you guys are new make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content so let's get right into the video and guys make sure you guys stick till the end because I do have some of his pro day highlights you know him catching some passes blocking, running running his 40-yard dash time, and much, much more. So, like I said, we signed Samus Reyes, who is an intriguing option at the tight end position. You know, Like I said, he was going to be part of the International Pathway program, but we ended up signing him instead. So, very interesting right there. And, you know, he did really well at his pro day. You know, he did at the same time as the other Florida players did nearly a dozen scouts were huddled around Reyes after Florida's pro day he had a very good day a lot of you know different teams were interested in him and you know like I said very intriguing so you guys can you know I'll read some of the this article right here by John Kine but he played uh you know college basketball at Tulane um he had a bunch of offers coming out of high school to play basketball and he ended up choosing uh, to play at Tulane. He is he was born in Chile and you know worked out at the University of Florida's pro day on March 31st and you know for the last you know couple months he's been working at the IMG Academy in Florida as part of the International Pathway program. So he's been getting some work and you guys have seen how you know former college basketball players have been really successful in the NFL at the tight end position and that's not saying that he's going to be one of those guys but Tony Gonzalez, Mo Ali Cox, Antonio Gates, there's a couple others, Jimmy Graham, you know, there's even more than that but you know, he has a really good size. He's about 6 foot 6, 260 pounds. He ran a 465 in the 40 yard uh, 40 yard dash, which is really good. He benched uh 225 31 times, which again is insane and you know uh, had a really good vertical as well about a 40 inch vertical he's never played in an uh, in a college game or high school game briefly played some high school uh, football you know practice for a couple weeks but then decided to call it quits because he had over 20 offers to play basketball so he did he decided to focus more on that it's going to be very interesting to see what happens? I mean, you know, Washington signed Logan Thomas last year, who was a former quarterback and who converted to tight end, and he had his best season by far. It wasn't even remotely close. He, you know, exploded his prior numbers, and part of that could be because of Pete Hainer, our tight end coach. So I think if he can help develop him, he's obviously a project player, but going to be very interested to see, you know, how he ends up. Uh, developing and this tweet right here let me read it a Chilean basketball player who briefly played hoops at Tulane recently tested as the most athletic size adjusted tight end to ever enter the NFL and yes that includes you know Kyle Pitts so you guys can look at some of his numbers here you know uh, he had a 40 inch vertical it was like reported like 30 something but then he got a higher um, vertical jump 31 on the bench press press which is insane 260 pounds he's about six foot six um and his 40 yard dash time was really good as well Four six forty. he's just an athletic freak of nature that's what he is and he has a lot of really really good traits so if the washington football team and their coaching staff and pete hayner who did a good job with logan thomas before if they can develop him i think this could be end up being a really really good signing i'm not going to get super super hyped about it and have huge expectations for him but i do think this is a very low risk high reward possible high reward signing that could end up you know panning out really well for the washington football team they did this last year with logan thomas you know not a lot of people 
I mean, I don't think anyone thought he was going to, you know, get close to 700 yards, but he did. P. Hayner and, you know, the coaching staff did a really good job developing him. And obviously, with Reyes, it's going to be a lot more time than that because, you know, he's never played in the NFL. Obviously, he's trained for months. You know, if you look at his Instagram, he's been training for a while. He's probably been training for over a year, but he's never, you know, really played an actual game, an organized game. So it's going to take a while, but I really like this signing. I watched his pro day when it was live. And, you know, even Daniel Jeremiah, who was a former NFL scout, said he really impressed him. And you look at his, you know, um, grade right here or, you know, athletic score compared to Kyle Pitts, and it is higher. Um, like I said, you know, he's got a good uh, frame, about six foot six, 260 pounds. Uh, you know, depending on where you look, there's some sites that have about like six, uh, six foot five and a half and some at like six, six and a half. So um, we'll see 260, though, very good weight. He's super, super strong. I mean, you look at, you know, he's absolutely shredded. He's just a he's a freak of nature. So if they can take those skills and develop him, like I said, this could be a very good signing in the long run. So now I will be playing the video of the pro day. Um, and we'll get into that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the, you know, that little one minute, 40 second clip. And by the way, that wasn't my music. That was the music that was from the NFL. So um, that's it for the video. And one quick thing before we end the video, and I think this is obvious, but I'll just say it anyways. I don't think this is going to impact, you know, them, the tight end position going forward in terms of them targeting one in the draft. I think I still think they're going to target one early, maybe that third round. Um, range since we do have two third round picks i made a video about some tight ends we could target yesterday so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please smash that like button subscribe if you guys are new and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video and peace guys